Ah, uh, you know the music, it's a classic. Roy Orbison especially, when he's singing about pretty women, inspiring one of the most popular rom-coms of all time, Julia Roberts, Richard Gere, Vivian and Edward, a classic, and now a Broadway musical. The national tour just arriving in North Texas on stage right now in Dallas as we welcome one of the featured players, Matt Stokey, who actually plays the bad guy. As Matt, I wave back at you. Welcome to North Texas. I, I can hear the Thanks jeers so from fans from here. I want, to want to remind people right off the top that uh, your character, Philip Stuckey, he was played by none other than Jason Alexander in the movie. Jason, yes. fairly unknown at the time, but an iconic portrayal. Uh, it's uh, Edward's nasty attorney. Refresh our viewers' memories about that character for folks who haven't seen the movie or the musical in a while. I, you know, I say he's just a good guy doing his job. That's what I say. Um, yeah, I play uh, the uh, the... Basically, conciliary to uh, Ed Lewis, the titular character, and uh, I do his bidding. And it was 1990, and it was Wall Street, and I tried to make money for him and me. And you know, as they said in the movie Wall Street, greed was good. So uh, yeah, I get to play that guy. I get to be that guy in the fairy tale where everybody loves uh, the the, uh, the two romantic leads, and I, I'm the I'm the foil. I'm the bad guy. It's great. It's so much fun. I, I know a lot of people love getting a chance to play the bad guy, but I feel like you're the bad guy even today because you just reminded us how long it's been since that movie came out. We're all aged, those of us that remember when it was in theaters. Uh, <laughs> I, I understand you've been part of this show since the beginning. What's your journey been with Pretty Woman the Musical? Um, yeah, I got involved almost seven years ago um, in um, one of the early readings of the show. For those people who don't know how uh, plays and, and musicals are often developed, you start out with a script, you sit around a table and you read it out loud and you see what you got. Uh, and then it develops into workshops where you start getting on your feet and doing some staging and things like that. And then uh, moving on to full production. So yeah, the first reading we did was in December of 2016. And we all played myriad characters. And then uh, uh, I was fortunate to do the out-of-town um, preview in Chicago. And then we ran on Broadway for a year to the day uh, in 2018 and 2019. And then we had a pesky little, um, you know, national shutdown, which was super good fun. And, uh, yeah, they said they were going to be sending out the tour in the fall of 2021. And... Uh, they put out the feelers to some people who had done the Broadway show, and it was such a strange time coming out of the shutdown that uh, I thought it would be a pretty good gig to go on tour. But I do miss my girlfriend. I miss our cats. I miss cooking. You know what I miss? I miss garlic powder. You just can't. You just, you know, the, the, the little things in life, some things you can't tote with you on the road. No, it, it's different, but we're, we're glad you're here in North Texas with us. And, of course, fans of the movie remember the soundtrack. It's iconic. Of course, it wouldn't be a great musical without great music as well. For people who haven't seen the show, what can they expect musically? Uh, it's written by Brian Adams. Every song and every lyric are written by Brian Adams and, uh, and Jim Valance, uh, big-time uh, pop music writers for the last 40 years. Um, and they'll be very recognizable as Brian Adams songs. They sound just like the songs that, depending if you're, you know, my age, you heard in high school. Um, and uh, but we give you the movie on stage. We, there's no way we could do Pretty Woman without giving you every, you know, uh, memorable moment from the movie. Uh, we got the costumes, we got the sets, we've got all the lines that people in the audience tend to say with us, which is pretty funny. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fairy tale. It's a good time for people to go see a fairy tale for a couple of hours and be reminded that it's, uh, it's a really good movie. It really holds up and really stands the test of time. And we give you just about the, the movie on stage, only we start, you know, dancing and singing every now and again. Well, again, you kind of reference it being a fairy tale. Why is this story so resonant, you know, at, whether it's on the big screen, whether it's on stage, why do people love this story so much? Uh, it really has, uh, you know, uh, really stood the test of time. It, it, I was going to say, if you see it, you know, somewhere, but if you turn a television on on the weekend, it's on probably four or five different channels every weekend. Um, it's a, it's a, there's a couple of really wonderful performances and it. It, it introduced the world to Julia Roberts. Um, but it is, it's a modern day fairy tale. You know, the, uh, the, the girl gets the boy 
and um, she's a super strong character. She's she's just it's a, it's a it's a great story um, about you know perseverance and, and standing up for what you want. And um, uh, you know, I think right now people can use a little bit of escapism and use use a fairy tale and um, you know see them see them ride off in the sunset at the end. She says, you know. Uh, uh, he says, what happens after she rescues him? No, he rescues her. I've only done the show 900 times. <laughs> um, and, you know, she rescues him right back. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a happy ending. You know, there's the, we're not disguising anything, and we're giving it to you. We have confetti cannons. So, you well, know. You, you've you've right. got me right there, Matt. Uh, <laughs> Matt Stokey, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to North Texas, and break a leg. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, if you want to see Pretty Woman the Musical, you can catch it playing at the Music Hall at Fair Park through February 5th, presented by Broadway Dallas. Go to broadwaydallas.org for ticket information. And hey, listen, if you can't make it there, the company heads west to Bass Performance Hall in Fort Worth. It's presented by Performing Arts Fort Worth from February 7th through the 12th. BassHall.com has your ticket information in Cowtown.